Alright, what's up? What's going on, guys? Captain Monk here. In today's game, playing some Reaper Soraka support in the bot lane. So let's go ahead here and grab ourselves the Ancient Coin, a few health potions, I'm thinking three, and then one mana potion and the Warden Chink, and head onto the lane. As you guys can see from the teams here today, we have X Games D1 playing as our Vi jungle, Nathan Kazuki playing Vi's sister on that Jinx as our AD carry, Veracion playing as the uh, they'll cause mid, and last but not least is Dad Spaghetti on the Shen top lane. It's looking like we're against the Kindred jungle, of course, the new champion. I just did a video of Kindred, by the way. It was actually my second, because I did a video of her, or them, I guess I should say, because Kindred is the duo of Lamb and Wolf. But I did a video of Kindred when they first when they were first released in the PBE, which I think that video was pretty damn good, considering it was the first day the champion was released. And just yesterday, actually, I recorded one with Kindred, <clears throat> which was meant to be an update, of course, like what I think is the best strategy for her, or them, I should say, once again. I get kind of confused, because let's be honest, the relationship between uh, Lamb and Wolf is mostly Lamb dominant, because, yeah, the Wolf has some damage and all that, but for the most part, you're auto-attacking, and Lamb's one that auto-attacks, that's why I get a little bit mixed up. But yeah, it was a bit of an update, and I think the video went pretty well. Uh, they Of course, they got the Kennen top, they also got the Orianna mid, then the Tristana and Karma dual lane. I'll go ahead here and reorganize our team, so you can see where everyone's at. There you go. And it's looking like we have a bit of a standard start here. Shen's going to start top lane, Felcaw's mid, of course. And I think we'll just help out Vi with this. So I'll get out my heal here, level 1. Because although my Q is pretty helpful, I think the heal's better. Because the amount of HP I sacrifice in exchange for how much HP I give to my allies is very, very, it's really, really good. And the amount of HP you lose doesn't change per rank. Whereas the amount of healing you do does. So it's becoming really effective. So let's wait for her to get to 120 less HP. Heal her up and that should be all good. Of course, sacrifice is a bit of my HP. But that's no big deal because I have plenty of potions. And as long as I hit my star call on champions, I do get some HP back. Which is why you actually want to max the W. Which segues into one thing I wanted to mention about today's game. Is I did a Soraka video when she was originally reworked about a year or so ago. But since then, I never really did a video of her updating her. Even though that video I did was kind of flawed in the strategy. I think I played pretty well. But the strategy part of it was a bit messed up. And then when I say strategy, I mean like runes, masteries, skill distribution, build. Those sort of things. I think my runes and masteries were fine. But as far as I can recall, my maxed Q then W, which is fine. But the best build is actually to max your W, or your sorry, your Q last because yeah, it does increase the damage and the slow percentage. But it's like the least useful of all your spells because it's like uh, instantaneous damage on whatever you target. So it's really really good. Not to mention it's a snare, which is also very strong. And your W has two components: the healing of yourself and your allies. So it's just extremely effective for that reason. Now, I have no idea where their Tristana is. This is really weird. I think their Tristana might be AFK or something like that. We can hopefully hit Karma with that. Yes, we will. And that will replenish our HP even though we're full health, which is kind of weird. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to st yeah, stand back here and just ask uh, Trist AFK. If she is AFK and they actually answer me, then I think we'll take it easy in this lane. But if she's just doing some sort of strategy of some sort, yep. Okay, that sucks. Hopefully she comes back. Because if she doesn't, that would be like really unfortunate. They are pre-made though, so I'm kind of confused why... They don't know, like, I mean, I guess they know that she's AFK, but I'm surprised they haven't said why. Because normally when people are pre-made, they're in Skype or whatever. Unless they're going to record, of course, like in my case. But uh, normally they're in a Skype call. But hopefully, sooner rather than later, their Karma will have her duo back in the lane here. And we can they can put up a fight for us. Because posting games where we're just sitting in the lane, dumpstering the solo lane Karma support is just not nearly as fun. So, yeah, you'll see here I'm just being passive. Like, again, it's... It's entirely just because I don't really want to push advantage on somebody that's not really a fair advantage. So, just chill for the time being. Let Jinx get that minion there on the side. But in this lane though, once Tristana comes back, which I hope she does soon, uh, you'll notice that I won't really be doing a hell of a whole lot. And the reason for that is because my ability to, like, set up fights and engage and all that is pretty damn weak with Soraka. Because my only CC is my slow on this, which is just a slow, and it's pretty easy to dodge your star call. Because there's an indicator on the floor that you know where it is. And your E, which your E is just damage and a silence and if they stand in it, which most people won't, most people are smart enough to leave. Uh, in that case, oopsies, I'm trying to help him get that minion there, unfortunately was able to. But, uh, but yeah, your E, they have to stand in it to get the slow, or the, the snare. So, in other words, you have like no CC that's actually any good, unless something else hits first so you can get the snare on your E. So, really what we're going to be doing here is looking to sustain Jinx whenever she's in a tray, and there we go, there's Trist. So yeah, let's just let Trist get three. We're, oops, we're letting, oopsies, Trist catch up. Because yeah, there's just, there's no benefit in us in a normal game like this, forcing advantage that wasn't a fair advantage in the first place, so just gonna let her catch up a little bit, maybe get level three or four or so, and once she hits that point, then we'll look to pressure a little bit. Because it is a normal game, if it was a ranked game on the other hand, I probably wouldn't be as kind, but I don't want to force advantage that was there for unfair reasons. 
So yeah, let's just chill. Uh, in fact, it might even make sense for us to just do Krugs or something like that. Me and Jinx can just do Krugs while we wait, because there's nothing much we can really do in the lane anyways. And if Jinx tanks it, I can heal her for days, so that will be really good for us. Unfortunately, though, my E only has damage to champions, so I can't really use that. Go ahead and tank this. The patience is going to run out, so let's make sure he's tanking it. Alright. Not bad. Yeah, we don't we don't have too many problems taking these because of our sustain being so strong. And I can just heal him up like that, because I did max it, so I have 150 for heal. Very, very strong. Okay, and he's level 2 so far, so he's catching up, but not quite 3 or anything like that yet. Their karma's level 5. Once he hits 3 or 4, I think we'll start playing legit again, just because their karma's pretty strong as well, so I don't want to put ourselves at a disadvantage by any means. And I'll use a Q here. Hopefully to hit somebody. Not quite going to. Because I just want to heal myself up a little bit. And the Q's not that big of a threat. But unfortunately, we are going to get hit by the Karma Q Empowered Q there. So going forward here, I will try to hit the Qs. There we go. Nope, not going to hit. If you hit the Q on a champion, though, you will actually heal from this component here. This passive part of that. Which is, of course, very, very helpful. Unfortunately, looks like we're going to miss a few minutes here. But no big deal. Alright, let's see if we can hit someone on this. Nope. But you can see though, it's very easy to avoid the star call if it's close range, or long range, sorry. Because the, 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 the amount of time it actually takes to land is based entirely around how far away it was. So if you place it right in front of yourself, it's actually going to go off way quicker. Let's go ahead and heal up our Jinx a little bit though. Put this behind. Maybe we can get lock up, lock up Jinx? We can. This is looking good actually. I don't know if we can kill her. Yes we can, alright. Not bad. Yeah, you know, I think the piece was kind of broken when... The, Karma started hitting me originally, and from there, I mean, this is fine. So let's go ahead and get this onto her. Not quite gonna land. Can we heal up Jinx? We can. Alright, got the Karma Flash. That's worth. I'll start basing now, I think. Oops. There we go. Yeah, because I don't think I was fighting there was BM, because they, they, they're the ones who started it. <laughs> God damn it, minions. I want a recall. <laughs> Alright. Not too bad of a start, though. Like I said, not a huge fan of the AFK thing, but... I think, we I think we did a good job managing that and making it still worthwhile. So let's pick up ourselves the, the uh, Sidestone for extra HP and extra wards, of course. Great stuff there. The boots, because we'll be getting mobility boots at some point, because we build a lot of CDR with our build anyways. And get other boots, like Spell Pen wouldn't be that good, or cooldown boots. I mean, we already get a lot of cooldown from our build, so don't need that. So we'll just work towards mobility boots pretty quick here. And get ourselves that potion for the extra sustain it provides. And we should be all set here. So I can't really do much bot lane right now because you can see where the wave is. So instead of going there, I'm going to get some wards and actually help out my Vi a little bit actually as well. Because I literally have nothing else to do. So I may as well just help Vi out. Of course, I'm not going to take his XP. But I'll go ahead and give him a heal here if I can. Oh, actually, hold on. I'll let him finish the red, then I'll heal him. All right. There you go. Because yeah, I didn't want to steal his XP by mistake. And I could have potentially done that if I stood near it when it died. And hello, pink ward. But this is kind of what I'm talking about, though. There's not really much reason for me to be bot lane right now. Like, I'm not, there's, no, there's no benefit in being there right now. I would just be getting XP. And while that's great, I think getting, like, the little amount of XP I'd get from that is not nearly as, as good as getting all this pressure I'm getting on the map by clearing up pink wards, getting our own wards down, all that stuff. It's way more effective. And actually, Karma's getting kind of blocked off here. Let's get the silence down. Can this hit her? No, not quite. She's a little bit too quick, but she's going to hit by the Velka's Q. So I might be able to take her out. And, oh, the Kindred all is too good. Yeah, we can't do anything here. In fact, I might have to flash. No, I do not have to flash. Let's go and get the heal onto Nathan Kazuki here. Do as much damage as we can to help out. Alright, there we go. That didn't really go as I planned it, but that isn't something to complain about. And I forgot to get Sweeper. Whoops. I just noticed that now nah, I should have gotten Sweeper. The moment you finish Sightstone as a support, get that Sweeper. And I think as far as the jungler goes, it kind of depends on the jungler. But for the most part, as soon as you place your Trinket and go back, then you get your Sweeper. And you should probably be doing that on your first back, but it won't always be your first. I'll go and heal Vi here a little bit. It's kind of hard to hit her because she's on top of the dragon like this, but it worked out, as you can see, so not bad. And I think once this thing jumps, there we go. I'll lead it and get it silenced and hopefully lock it up. Yeah, she won't lock up. It only locks up champions, which I find really annoying. I feel like the, the initial damage, that makes sense, but the uh, when the zone disappears, all enemy champions will still stay in this zone, uh, will be rooted. I feel like that should apply to minions as well. Maybe that's just me, though. All right, we'll get Jinx that get that one. And I can't really heal myself just yet, but once we have... I think I'll pop this mana potion. But yeah, once we have someone in the lane as a champion, I can hit the Q and heal myself up, just like that. And that does scale with the points you have in your W, which is really, really strong. It's the damage and the slow that scales with point points in the Q. So, so just keeping the Q like that and consistently healing ourselves up. The mana potion, keeping our mana pool high. Not too bad. 
Their combat is actually level 7, which is kind of awkward, and apparently something's going on here. Yeah, you found the scuttle crab. No surprise there. Can we hit this? Nope, you did not. Normally, it's pretty easy to tell, but if it's not, tr it's not, like, entirely sure whether you hit or not, just look for, like, some sort of, like, health thing flying in the air and reaching you and then heal yourself healing. That's normally how you can tell. It's so like that one, you can see this little thing that's flying across the screen that heals me. It's a way of telling. For the time being, though, we should just chill. Of course, we do have the luxury that is, uh, we know that Kindred wants to target and hold on. We're in a bit of a fight here. Let's get the silence down. I'm gonna exhaust the Tristana here. I think we should have the kill on her. There we go. Alright, that Kindred's coming in though. I'm gonna try and slow her out. Or hit them out, I should say. With my, uh, Q. We get this heals onto Jinx. Alright, I think that's a kill. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm out of mana here, so I'm just kind of autoing as I stand there and watch the fight, the game play out. You know, it worked out. It was a little bit awkward, but it worked. But yeah, we knew that Kindred wanted to take out the Krugs here, which I think she actually did on her way over here. I think she hopped over the Dragon Wall, then maybe went all the way around and I took him, and then came through. Because we didn't see her pass the Pink Ward, so I'm pretty sure it's what ended up happening. Is actually that Kindred took that and went on from there. But still, not too bad for us. Managed to win that fight. And I think that does kind of... is a, The big factor in that is they're not focusing me, they're focusing Jinx. And focusing me is what you want to do against the Soraka, because otherwise I'll just heal Jinx and she'll never die. Because the ratio of my heal is like way better than the health I lose. Let's get our sweeper here as well. And I think I'll get a pink ward as well. Wait, is that my pink ward? I think it is. It is not. Okay, so in case that one gets taken out, I can replace it or I can just place mine somewhere else. We'll have double the pink ward visions. This is first time Jinx. Damn, he's doing well. But uh, essentially though, what I'm thinking here with this is a big part of that is again, like I said, they're focusing Jinx instead of me, which they should be focusing me so I can't heal Jinx as much because I can't heal myself except for my ultimate, which I could have used there if I had mana, but I didn't have mana, so I didn't end up using it. I was looking to use other spells instead. But Jinx did a lot of damage there to their, their karma. So nice job there. And it looks like actually their kindred's targeting me. So I gotta be careful about that. Unless, of course, it's a bait into me thinking, hold on, we got a bit of a fight going on here. Where is their Jinx? Their uh, Tristana at? Yeah, that's a dead Tristana. Let's go ahead and heal up our Jinx though. And yeah, nothing's gonna come out of that. That's still fine. And I took that mini by mistake. But yeah, their kindred's targeting me, so for all I know, their kindred's gonna come after me. Or it could just be me, uh, them targeting me to make me think they're coming after me when they're actually, in fact, not. But actually, I thought that was kindred for a moment there. That's just Vi. Uh, actually, I think I'll stick around because I have health potions ticking, and I don't have that much HP in general, so health potions are gonna regenerate me faster than most champions. Go ahead and heal up this dude. If we hit that. We can get the assist. Nice. Max in the E second because it's instantaneous damage wherever you put your mouse. Kind of like boom, just like that, instantaneous. Of course, it doesn't hit that, but I'm using that as an example. Because it only hits champions. So it's really good. Not to mention the snare is pretty strong too. Do two damage components on that spell, only one on this. And this is just really your heal, honestly. It's all it is. So not too bad. Well, I love Jinx, this one in general. Yeah, Jinx is pretty great. It looks like if Tristana wants to fight us. I don't know if that's a wise choice, but we'll see what we can do. The silence is going down. Okay, the heal's on into Jinx. Yep. Like, Tristana does a lot of damage, but she doesn't have enough damage to break through uh, the heals I have. Whoa. Why not focus me? I heal Jinx too much. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. We have 8 assists, though. Not a bad start for us. Let's pick up ourselves the finished Talisman for honor. <laughs> this is true. We were very honorable opponents, letting them set themselves up. So we have the Talisman now. We also have ourselves the Mobility Boots. Uh, something else on Soraka, like in my first Soraka recording, uh, I suggested that you should go with the AP support item. The uh, Spell Thieves, I think it's called. Which is okay, but it's like, I don't think it's better than Talisman, because Talisman just gives you a lot more mana regen, I think. Not to mention, it also gives you uh, some other stats that are very, very good on Soraka. Honestly, I don't even know the details, because I don't support much, but I just know for a fact they're better. And we're lagging like crazy, what the fuck? Alright, well, we're back. <laughs> that was super awkward, I have no idea what the hell happened there. But it definitely was not good. I'll go ahead and heal up our uh, Vi, though. Get the Q onto Ori, get ourselves some HP back. And what the heck, am I still lagging? What the hell's going on? My internet's fine. It's just riot or something. Alright, well, we're back now. <laughs> yeah, everyone's... Oh, same, same. I'm not. Nope. Alright, well, it's like 50-50, I guess, then. That's really weird. Well, we may as well clear up this ward here, though. Because they cannot really contest us taking that out. Go and heal up our Jinx. Get out of here, Kenan. No heal for me. That sucks. But yeah, as long as we protect this camp, though, the Raptors, their kindred can't get any more snacks that are passive, or their passive. So that's going to be good for us. 
I'm thinking it might make sense for us to pressure this mid turret, but I'm not totally sure. The dragon is up in 11 seconds, so yeah, getting that would be really good. For the time being, though, I'm just gonna pressure mid. Can we hit cannon? No, we cannot. He juked it. Yeah, let's just go dragon. And actually, their Kindra's taking blue buff. I don't think we can get there in time to stop that, though. That's okay. So yeah, let's just take this out. As soon as Vi gets any damage on her, I'll just heal her up. And... Whoa, we're lagging again. Wait. Shit, why am I lagging? What is going on, Riot? Please. <laughs> this is crazy. I can't move. Riot plus. Uh, yeah, nothing's even showed up in chat. I swear this is not my internet, guys. I would know if it's my internet because my other things would stop working. But yeah, I'm dead. So Riot DCing. Yay. It looks like I'm not the only one. Yeah, damn it, Rito. Am I the only one DC, or are you guys too? I, you know, that's kind of piss off though because they're just on a DC, and then here I am DC right in front of them, and they killed me. It's like really, guys, talk about not giving your own medicine, if you know what I mean. But uh, wait, is that, is that our pink word? That is. I don't know. It's kind of a lame spot though for the post laning phase. So I'm not gonna leave that there. Let's just go mid and hopefully don't lag anymore and DC like that. Cause yeah, it says Jinxes too. So this is really rough that we're like decent and crazy and we're losing because of it. But it's looking like we're getting some kills here. I'm going to try and save our Velkos here. I'm going to ult him and keep him nice and alive. Alright. I probably should have ulted earlier to ulti us and save our Vi. But I kind of uh, derped. But that's okay. We're making it work. Let's go ahead and heal up though our Velkos. Yeah, the Kindred's 5 and 2, what the heck? That's like ridiculous. Alright, let's see the pink ward here though. This is a good spot. You can see exactly why already. We already have a ward that's being cleared from that. I'm gonna pop my potions though. I'm gonna try and push in mid as best as I can. But I kinda want my teammates here with me so they get the XP from this as well, but they're not here to do so. I think I'll just go top lane. There's not really much for me to do. Because like I could push in mid and that'd be good, but then I'd probably just die and get nothing out of it because I can't pressure the turret anyways. But I think we can kill this guy if Chen hits the taunt. There's no ward here. Can the snare hit? Nope. That's fine. This guy's take a lot of damage. And oh my god, this guy. Alright, he's got it. I healed him enough that I think he's yeah, he's more than fine, so that's good. Managed to make the roaming plays to help out the team. And actually, hold on, Kindred's there. What the heck? Alright, well I did not notice that he was getting caught out over there. That's my mistake. Oops. But uh it's just a one for one. No big deal. Can I get this minion? Nope. At least I get gold for being around minions to die. That's nice. We have Velkos coming up as well, so we might be able to take out this Kindred if he tries to fight me here. Now hopefully he'll walk right into my, uh, what's it called? Okay, there we go. I was hoping he'd walk into my E, but he never actually walked into it, so that's kind of lame. But I, used my, I managed to use my Talisman to outrun him, so that's good. But I'm pretty low on HP here, so I think once we clip the wave and I get the XP from the wave dying, I'll just go back. Because, yeah, sticking around would be really dangerous when they have quite a few sources of mobility that possibly take me out. I don't have my ult just yet. But, uh, look at my next item, though. I'm thinking the Locket would be amazing against their team. They have a lot of magic damage. Kendra's like the only AD alongside Triss, but Triss is pretty weak. So I think as long as we can keep a leash on their Kindred, we should be fine to go with the Locket here. And the Locket would be awesome. Let's also pick up the upgrade Sweeper there to clear up more wards and have more vision control and go from there. And we haven't DC'd in a few minutes here, so I'm having... A much better feeling about this game going forward, because that one DC, I think that kind of evens it out, considering the fact that we we, we kind of stomped bot lane because they DC early. Yes, we were respectful, and we gave their Triss some time to kind of catch up, but still, it's we still had a massive lead despite that. So let's see if there's any wards in the area here. Yeah, let's go into Skank Ori. I think if Shen and I go in here, this is pretty much free. Alright, he's going to get locked up by my, my E as well, so yeah, that's a very dead Ori. Talk about a little bit of overkill, though, but that's that's fine. Pretty sure cool on Vi's ult anyways. And actually, it's looking like something's going on bot lane. It's ulti to save Nathan Kazuki. Not quite going to save him, unfortunately. Never mind. I guess I'll have to go bot lane. I'm going to need some help, though. Shen's coming with me. I think if Tristana and Karma stay, we can easily take them out. The question is, will they? It looks like they are. So I'll just walk right in behind them here, cutting them off, getting a ward in the brush. Yeah, Tristana's got nowhere to run. Well, I mean, she can run that way, but she's just going to execute that way. We have this 
yeah, the layered E from me and the ch Chen Taunt is gonna probably get this Karma killed. It's slow from me is coming out a little bit. Wait, did it not slow? It's supposed to. Uh, I guess I must have missed or something. But if Shen gets another Taunt off, the Karma's dead. Yep, there we go. Nice. And oh, did I take? Is she, is she gonna live? All right, I'll take the kill with my E then. <laughs> Looks so awkward when they just die because you place like some like blue crap on the floor. But hey, I will take it with a smile on my face. It sucks that Jinx died. I tried to say it with my alt, but unfortunately he was not able to. But we need this turret. And hello. I'm gonna heal her up. And actually, I don't know if we want to fight this. Yeah, we don't. We need this turret though. God, the voice of the skin sounds so funky. Drags up in a minute here as well. We want to get the, make sure we get that. Is no one gonna farm this? Like someone should be farming this. It's not not me. <laughs> can I hit this on Kindred? I can. I'm taking these my damage actually. Can I live? I can. All right, I got out. My team is all surrounding the Kindred here, so I think they might be able to take her out. So yeah, we have Velkaz behind, Vi here, Shen there as well. That should be pretty easy for them to pick up. And I want to make sure I watch this. Oh, lag. Yes, more lag. Oh, yes, the best. No, nope. what what the fuck's going on? All right, well, the game's not lagging anymore. Not lagging anymore, so well, that's good. Let's pick up these items and join my team. My ultimate's not available, so I can't really contribute, but at least it looks like they're picking up the kills. Cannon's forced to flash to avoid the traps. The Hourglass is going to pop. Probably a bad idea, because he had a speed buff. He'd probably give out random. Is Jinx going to go down? Not so much. The Shen, uh, the Shen ult and the heal come up from Jinx. The ability's coming out from my teammates to hopefully slow down and take out the Karma. It is going to happen. Nice job to my team. Let's get ourselves the turret and the dragon. We should have no problems doing so. And I'll spam heal my teammates. Boom, you're basically full HP. Boom, you're full HP. <laughs> you see, the ratio of how much I heal for how much HP I lose is just absolutely absurd. It's so good. But I am thinking going for Dragon now makes sense. So let's do that. No, Smite don't need Smite, man. We are men. This is what we do. Or in my case, I'm, you know, some Reaper unicorn whore. But still, still, we are men. Let's go ahead and use our Q on this, just to help the damage output, I guess. We don't really do any damage to Soraka, but it's still something. It's something. So I'm going to heal up Shen a little bit here. There's the dragon for ourselves. And I don't think we want to fight here, because we're kind of low on manas and all that stuff. So let's just leave. But I should be able to pick up myself. No, I cannot get the Kindle Gem yet. I can soon, though. And I think Jinx is DC. Maybe it's just me that's DC. Who's DC? Oh, he's DC'd. All right. <laughs> Now, Jinx was just standing there. Oh, I'm DC too. Yes. No, no, I'm not. Maybe. I don't know. Minions are like standing still watching. What the fuck is this game, Riot? Please. <laughs> Holy crap, Riot is trolling us so hard this game. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this as much as I am, though. Because <laughs> despite all the DCs, this has turned out to be a decent game, which is like the weirdest combination ever. Normally, DCs equals a bad, bad, bad immediately. But this game's actually kind of fun despite all that, so. Hopefully you guys are having as much fun with that mixture as I am. So we managed to get ourselves some gold. We can get ourselves a Kindle Gem now, which will be great. No one needs to, our alt, so that's good. Rito. <laughs> it's totally Rito. I wouldn't know if it's my, if it was just me, because I'd be the only one DCing, but it's, everyone on my team's having problems, it looks like, so. It's good to see that I'm not the only one. That is a plus. It looks like Kindred's taking our blue buff. That's not cool. There, Kennen's there as well. I can alt my team if they need help, like HP-wise. My heal isn't that strong to see. It's only 250. But uh, it's looking like I might get surrounded here by the Orianna, so I need to get my ass over there to help him out. Make sure I don't get surrounded. Heal up Velkaz, now you're full. And here we go, here we go. The catch is onto the Kindred. He's gonna pop his ult. I'm gonna pop mine actually as well, keep my team all nice and healthy. Can I save the Vi? I cannot. Shit, let's pop our Talisman though. Yeah, I'm getting like completely screwed because I'm like somewhat lagging, but not really. Holy crap, this game's crazy. Alright, well I exhausted Cannon to make sure that he'd be a free kill for us. I don't have much HP left, so I can't heal much more, but it looks like we are going to win the fight despite all that. Let's do Baron. We don't have a jungler? Oh, Shen fucked up. But I think we could do Baron. If Jinx comes, this is free. Oh, hold on, Triss is here. Is she going to walk into it? She is going to walk into it. I'm going to go down, but that should be a kill because she locked right into it. Never mind, no one CC'd her. Alright, well my team kind of let me down on that one because we had... Oh, uh, he had no CDs. Alright, I thought Shen had taunt. Thought Shen had taunt. It's okay though. It's no big deal. It's just kind of lame. But if Shen get the taunt here, 
Yeah, the ability's gonna land. That's a dead Trist. Nice job, guys. Well done. You made up for it. Alright, we gotta just get our locket now. And I think for our next item, I'm gonna be getting... Ooh, hello. There's a TP coming in. Why did he taunt into that? Actually, it could actually work, because he is so tanky, and Cannon doesn't have any much damage to really take out Shen. Yep, that's me another kill. Nice job. We could probably bear off of that, too, if we wanted to, but we probably shouldn't. But uh, look at my next item, though. I am thinking the Mikhail's is a good option. But I think I'm going to get the Frozen Heart first, because I want that extra mana. Because I'm kind of running out of mana, and I want that armor as well, because they do have that dangerous Kindred. And Tristana is going to start scaling pretty soon, because she is, of course, Tristana. It's a very good late game. Whoopsies. That's not what I meant to do. Pretend that didn't happen, friends. Pretend that did not happen. All right, but there we go. Vi picked up a kill. Nice job. I think with this, honestly, we still could do Baron. That's the thing. Like every, once you hit like 25 minutes, any like kill, as long as your team is is in sync, can lead to Baron. It's it's really that simple. Depending on your team composition a little bit, but ours has enough shred. I think that we could actually do it. But it's no big deal if we don't. It's just something we could think about. But uh, I think. Yeah, let's get these wards. I'll just go up the wards they have on Baron for the time being, so nothing's really happening. And I have my teammates somewhat close to me, so I think I'm pretty safe to do so. Of course, if my teammates weren't with me, it'd be kind of dangerous to do what I'm doing. But I have Velkaz and Shen right here with me, and I have my Flash and my Talisman. I have enough escapes if need be. And it's looking like we're fine here. All right. I'm going to say my team wants to help me kill Cannon, because I think Cannon's pretty vulnerable now. Jinx is kind of overextended on her own, which is kind of dangerous, but I think she'll be safe as long as she plays it smart. Now, we have Shen come with us here. I think we have this guy. Let's go on the back. Alright, he's, he's uses E. He's dead. Wait, the Q? Yes, we did not. Alright, let's pop the Talisman, though. Get ourselves nice and quick. Where's Cannon gonna go? Where are you gonna go, friend? Yep. Oh, I got the kill. What? Alright. Not sure how I got that kill, because I don't do much damage. I'm, I kill with the ability I maxed last, and yet I did that. Hold on, what's going on bot lane? My team appears to be fine here, but if they need my help, I can, of course, ult. Doesn't look like they need it. Let's do this. Baron is just so easy to do with this composition we have, because I can spam heal our tank, and the rest of my team can come do damage. Baron is so free. So yeah, we don't really need Jinx, but Jinx being here would be nice. H, H, H. H and M? No? Oops. <laughs> Alright, I'll set this up. Yeah, Velkaz has a lot of damage. Shen's got enough tankiness. We have our jungler here. This is like as free as it comes. Let's pull and pop that locket as well. And if... Jinx needs help, we actually can use our alt to save her, but it looks like she's fine. Go ahead and spam heal the Shen a little bit here. Yeah, it's really easy for this composition to do Baron. So we have, we have enough Shred with Vi and Velkaz, and that tankiness of Shen and my spam heal is just easy as crap. But if their Orianna pulls a Power of Evil, I'll be really sad. Alright, good. She did not pull a Power of Evil. So I'll go ahead and use my Silence there to get an assist at the very least. It looks like we got the Baron. Did we get the Orianna kill? And, oh my god, I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming, team. Let's go fast. All right, let's heal him some more. Oh, he's not going this way. All right. He's going this way instead, friend. All right. Well, that's, I got some damage done. That's fine. Managing the Baron, though, and that's huge. And with this, Jinx is back with us here, and she's strong enough that we can definitely take this turret. Vi might be not with us, and Velkaz is kind of top lane, but that's still fine. We'll get this, and then we'll get the, the red buff at the, uh, in their jungle. For the time being, though, we're totally fine. And what are you doing? What are you doing, Karma? You're going the wrong way. See you later. Let's go ahead and get this. And if Tristana fights us at all, of course, I'll just pop my locket, but I think we're fine. Nice job. Let's get the red. Jinx probably wants this. Jinx? Why is Jinx not getting the red, guys? Alright, well, we had we had pressure, so we could push, but I don't know. It's just kind of... We don't have... We were, like, between waves, so we could have grabbed red really quick, and holy moly. Talk about ham. I got the kill again. Jesus. Alright, well, I'll just heal up Vi constantly. And, oh, the taunt is missing on that one. But there we go. We're out of mana now. But I think my team should be all fine to just, you know, unload the base. I'm using my locket here just for good measure. May as well. It doesn't look like they're going to have any strength to create any repercussions for that one. And, yeah, let's just grab the dragon here. Because I guess, yeah, Vi could get... Or not Vi. Uh, Jinx could get our their red still, like I suggested earlier. But I guess it's not really necessary, so I'm not going to bother worrying about that too much. But I'll get some boards down just to kind of block their entrances go from there and I don't really contribute much with dragons unfortunately because my damage is so low so my really my usefulness is begins and ends with my healing so I'll just go back here a little bit early because I'm still gonna get the assist of the dragon there we go get those components for frozen heart which we can almost finish actually which would be awesome for us to finish that as soon as possible 
And it looks like we did actually lose Jinx. Jinx just not focusing this game out of position entirely and not really in sync with the rest of us, but it's it's fine. I mean, we're still really ahead, but... Yeah, I don't know. I think he should have been with us and then gone back with us at the same time, but it's it's fine. Let's go ahead and see if there's any wards here, though. doesn't look like it. And hello. I guess I'll clip this ward that just got placed. I'm going to get my own wards down to control the area. And Uh-oh. I'm actually in trouble here. I'm going to speed off away. See you later, Kindred. You can't catch me. If you walk into that, you might get snared. Nope, not, not just yet. Let's go and exhaust this guy and pop my locket and just let him get unloaded on. Can we save him? I don't think we can. Yeah, I used my heals on him, but it was not enough. But I might be able to run him. Can I run the Oriana? Oh, flash that. Alright, not bad, not bad. I managed to get out. The question now is what more can we do if we want to do anything at all? If we traded one for one, Kindred for our Velkos. It's not the best trade in the world, but it's not a bad trade by any means. So I'll take it. No no big deal. And we could probably just push this wave up and hopefully get their uh, next Nexus turret. Or not Nexus turret, sorry, inhibitor turret. Because, yeah, I mean, or not an inhibitor. The outer turret, then the inhibitor turret. We can probably do both of those because their Kindred's a big part of their team. And it's dead, so we should be all home free to do this. Alright. And yeah, we can get our Frozen Heart anytime we want now, which is awesome. That'll cap out our CDR, I'm pretty sure. Not to mention, give us extra mana. It looks like they are trying to flank us here, but we have the Taunt coming out. If we can layer that with our E. No, we cannot. Damn it, I suck. That's fine, though. But actually, more fighting's happening here. What the heck? I'm actually getting caught here. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, maybe not. Okay, this down? I can. Is that going to lock up the Kindred? No, it's not. But I, I, I am way too low. I can't heal anybody or do anything to be useful, so I may as well go back here. I think a big mistake a lot of players make is when they think they're, they're really low, they decide to leave the fight because they think they're useless. I'm useless because I don't do damage, and all I have is spells that I can use and heals. But my main usefulness is my is my healing, and without HP, I can't do that. So that's why I'm leaving. But if I was like an 80 carry with really low health, I'd stick around just in case I'm needed. But I wouldn't put myself in any risks whatsoever because an 80 carry can auto-attack without, without HP, right? You'll, if As long as you have 1 HP, you're still useful. So it's kind of different. But uh, looking at the items here, I'm thinking my next item is going to be the McHales. Because I want that extra magic resist and an extra bit of, uh, what's it called, mana regen. Because I think it's really good. Not to mention, when you have the finished McHales, you, I, guess, I guess I'm wasting some CDR with this one, which is not good. But uh, extra mana regen is nice. And the extra... Uh, active of removing stuns and all that would be really really good so i think i'll get that as well i think it's a really good item for soraka so you see here in contrast to my last soraka game i'm going with a much more su support focus build last time i was going with a bit more of an ap support focus build which is actually not too bad on soraka but this one's just so much better brutal to be brutally honest like this is just like this is probably like one of the best builds for soraka is what i'm doing this game so i like it quite a lot and it works really well as you can see 3 2 and 19 we're doing quite well for ourselves Setting up a lot of great things. And so going forward here, we can probably just go bottom and get this. So let's see here. Is Trist going to overextend? Well, we have Jinx with us. She has a Bloodthirst, so she doesn't need heals from tanky minions or anything like that. So we should be all set here to help her out. Alright, I'm going to have to ult here just to keep him alive. Alright. You can see the mass amount of heals. I probably didn't need to ult there, but I did instead because it's the cooldowns just well, it's longer of course, but it's just a lot easier to use instead of waiting for the cooldown your on your W. Let's get some damage here onto Oriana though. And I'm gonna die here, but Jinx should be able to clean up. Yep, there we go. Nice. I probably should have exhausted Oriana to avoid getting comboed like that. But honestly, I knew we'd win regardless of whether I did or not, so I wasn't too concerned about it. And that's actually going to lead to them surrendering. So hopefully you guys liked this game. I think it was a pretty solid game despite all the DCs. I think the DCs actually made it kind of interesting because we were we were stomping quite a bit early game. But I think we're at least respectful. Let Tristana get back into the game after her being AFK a little bit. So hopefully you guys liked this. If you did, make sure to drop that, right, that like rating or dislike if you didn't like it. Both of them helped me out equally, actually. And subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.